Hello, this is Robert Bolaños. Uh, this is a video about input filters. Uh, on one of the LinkedIn uh, website, I had mentioned that you could put two power supplies and connect them to one input filter. And you would do that in case you had uh, constraints in space and also uh, money but mostly because of space so you can put two power supplies and only use one power supply or one input filter now I did mention that a little trick or technique that has been used is to synchronize uh, the power supplies but put them out of face, or at least uh, 180 degrees out of face with each other. That way, the the frequency that the input filter sees is actually double. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and model this. This is uh, a trap, uh, a ramp uh, current source, which is supposed to mimic uh, the primary current in a flyback. And I'll go ahead and run it so you can see the current. And it goes up to one amp. Okay, so it goes up to one amp. Okay, so this would be your typical flyback. Okay, now here I have a second uh, flyback. And of course I have a 1T. Basically it's disconnecting this from that, uh, this other converter. But let's say. I keep it in phase, change that to one. So now if you notice, see there's a little dead spot here. So and the peak is one. Okay. So these have the same amplitude, same frequency. So now they should add up. So now you have two apps, which is what uh one of the comments had said that uh that when you put them together uh, that the current would double up which is true okay so now let's take a look at the FTT basically what you want to do is this currents that are being generated by your converters you don't want that current going into the bus so what we're going to do we're going to do the FTT at V1 okay and we'll do that using this here okay and we're gonna go ahead and monitor the current right here at V2 because V2 will have the current of the first flyback and the second flyback okay so let's go ahead and do that and let me go ahead and comment this out Okay. Okay. So then I'll put V2 up on top. I'll bring V1 to the bottom, which is the one that we're interested. We'll cut, paste. Okay. Okay. So in this case, since both of them are in phase, the harmonic, the fundamental, which is at 100 kilohertz, is approximately 759, 759 milliamps. That's the peak. So then the attenuation at the bus, you only see in 1.3 milliamps, which is good. Okay. So now let's 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 change this a little bit around. Let's go ahead and uh, put them out of phase. Okay, and we'll do the transient first. <coughs> Excuse me. And all I'm doing is I'm going to delay it right here. I'm going to delay it by five microseconds mind you that the first one does not have a delay 
this is delayed so they're going to be slightly off and we'll just look at the waveform and remember the peak was 2 when they were in phase and now if you notice the peak is 1 but now they're slightly different and the frequency is actually doubled okay so we measure there measure there these are supposed to be operating at 1 kilohertz but the the filter will see 200 kilohertz okay so they're overlapping each other okay so now let's see how the input filter reacts okay so we're going to take advantage of that we doubled the frequency and instead of having double the current we only have uh, the original current so let's go ahead and okay and do that and we'll move this one to the second okay okay cut paste and now if you notice remember we had over 700 milliamps now it's much less it's half of what we were getting but look at the input filter now okay it was a, a little bit over one milliamp now we're down to uh, let me see 300 oh, bring it down here 137 microamps and now look at the frequency it's 200 kilohertz okay not a 100 so it's it's a higher frequency and the filter is much more effective anyway I hope this is a demonstration how you can put the flybacks or a power splice and put them out of phase and that will make your input filter more effective thank you for watching if you have any comments you can send them to my uh, email uh, listed down below and f if you have requests for the spice models you can also send it to my email thank you for watching